So, we're starting Ace Combat 5 today. Lore Shock, there's your, there's your announcement. Something that occurred to me. A lot of people used to call the Ruminations reviews, which they're not, obviously. They never have been. Uh, the Ruminations are their own thing. Uh, it's, the, it's the tiny, worthless little niche I carved out of YouTube years and years ago. The whole point, the whole idea, the mentality going into it is, imagine you just finished playing a game or watching a movie or watching an episode and you're sitting down and you're chatting with it, chatting about it with someone, right? That's the, that's the mindset. I got a little more organized over the years by actually taking notes and uh, having like a, a pattern of how I would discuss and analyze things and doing a lot more research behind the scenes in order to try and have more to talk about with the behind the scenes stuff. But otherwise, that format never changed. So what you're expecting me now to talk about is Ace Combat 4. But since these are kind of the rumination replacements, well, I'm going to talk about what occurred to me to talk about. So it was a decent enough game. In fact, it scored pretty well for a first game. Some uh, 40-something mod, which is which is actually pretty decent. Um, usually you expect a first game to score really badly, uh, around zero, or actually in the negatives. <clears throat> you probably think, well, hang on, this isn't their first game. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, what a first game actually is. The concept of a first game is the first time a particular development team, whether it's for a show or a movie or a game or book or play, sits down and they make something, and it's the first time they're really putting together this kind of thing, right? And so they're... well, they suck, right? <laughs> Almost every single first game tends to suck because they're new to this. They're still figuring things out, right? They're still trying to understand and process how to do what they're trying to do. It's logical, right? But here's the key distinction. <clears throat> that can apply to everything universally. The difference with a first game is usually a first game has some kind of core element, some nugget of quality that you can see there. And you know what I mean by this. I'm sure a lot of you could point to a game right now that you remember fondly because it has the potential to be good, or maybe it has a cool idea, or maybe it has a bit of familiarity effect, which we'll talk about in a second. Something, right? Something that is like, other than it just sucking. I mean, I could go back to the NES for a lot of examples of this. You know, Mega Man 1, Zelda 1, Mario 1. But this is a common trend. Assassin's Creed 1, for example. Or Ace Combat 4, while we're on the subject. Or, oh god, we've actually covered several. You know what, I actually keep a list of this stuff on my website. Did you know I have a website? Did you know? And I don't know how to make it look better on mobile. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. Alright, here we go. First game. So we've got uh, Dragon Quest 1. That's another good example. Psychonauts 1. Legend of Lagaya. Suikoden 1. Lufia 1. Okami. Fallout 1. Devil May Cry 1. Chaos Gate, Team and Hunters, ironically. Diablo 1, Shantae, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, which may sound strange, but I stand by that. And Ace Combat 4. That's all the games we have covered as of this moment who get the first game tag. You get the idea. But I said I would talk about familiarity effect. Familiarity effect at its basic core is this is something familiar, therefore I enjoy it more. Now, that's fine, right? And usually it applies in kind of like a mod kind of a way. How many of you have ever played a modded version of Civilization or of Master of Orion or of Crusader Kings or of Europa Universalis or of Victoria that adds something else to it, right? I'm sure a bunch of you could come up with an example. StarCraft used to do this all the time, too. Uh, one of my, my favorite examples is way, way, way back in the day. <clears throat> there was a StarCraft map, a UMS based around Lord of the Rings. There you go, there's familiarity effect. But hang on, there's another layer to familiarity effect, which is a little more insidious and a little bit less good, uh, in my opinion. And it's something I myself had to, to work on in order to prevent myself from falling into. See, you, you ever wonder why endless reboots and sequels tend to get greenlit immediately in Hollywood, and yet new stuff has to work so much harder just to get greenlit, regardless of quality, regardless of idea or premise, because it's something new, because it's not a proven IP. That That's familiarity effect right there. Is it something we know is going to sell? Well, they say they know. Is it something we know and therefore think is going to sell, 
or is it something new and therefore we know nothing? And you can understand why. If you go to a restaurant, you can order something you're pretty sure you're going to like, or you can order something completely new, which you know nothing about. Which one do you order? There you go. There's familiarity effect. The catch here is that, and the reason I'm bringing this up with regards to Ace Combat 4 is I noticed that while a bunch of people commented on some of my videos, nobody talked about anything on the Ace Combat 1 except for a few dedicated individuals, the people who already knew it. In fact, I don't even sure how many of you who are not familiar with Ace Combat are even watching this particular part right now because you looked at the video and said, oh, it's Ace Combat, and immediately noped out because it was something you didn't know. That's something I've noticed, is that the the big name stuff, like the recent Dragon Age streams, tend to pull in a lot, lot more viewership and a lot more interest and a lot more engagement. Because remember, the big thing I track is how many people chat during stream, not how many people are watching. So how many people are actually interacting with the stream. I also track how many people comment on both the VODs and here on these announcement videos. So how many people are engaged enough to bother talking is pretty much my major metric for how well a given game is doing with regards to the show. And the pattern is very normal. If it's a well-known thing, there's a high engagement. If it's not, there isn't. And I was thinking about that because I was like, damn, because these are good games. Like Ace Combat 7 was, was irritating, but it was still a very fun game. And Ace Combat 4, like I said, was quite enjoyable. Other than a few, like it was a first game, but it was a good first game. I was with it. But it doesn't matter because it's not familiar. You get the problem? Like I said, there's no judgment here. Because I understand perfectly... I had to spend uh, a couple of years basically burning that out of my own brain in order to try and not fall into familiarity effect because I didn't want to be like that. That was just personal preference, right? I love variety. Like, I mean, the whole show is a variety show, and that's, that's part of why. I love being able to try out new things and new concepts, new new flavors, new shows, new movies, new games, and just, just seek, seek stuff out, you know? But that's just me. That's, that's just preference. Oh. And like I said, that was the other big thing I wanted to talk about. Anyways, Ace Combat 4 was pretty cool, except for one big thing. I suppose I will review the game briefly in one big way, and that is the fact that they would not get away from the freaking point missions. Which is apparently a holdover from back when they used to be an arcade series. But the point is, the point missions were okay until I had to do them again, and again, and again. In fact, we actually counted 50%, a half of all the missions in the game were point missions. They're kind of boring. Like, they're, they're decent side mission. They're, they're, they're passable until you have to do too much of them. At which point they start getting into, oh my god, can we get on with this, please? I'm curious to see if Ace Combat 5 is going to do better or worse because I've heard some mixed stuff about it. But either way, I will pumpernickel you all later. What would pumpernickel be as a verb? <laughs> 